Hi everyone. Um, I haven't been on here in so long. Um, I will have a video um, up maybe this week letting you know where I've been, why I haven't posted any videos. I have been on Instagram a bit, um, but I had to take a break from YouTube and I just, there will be a complete video on where I've been since I think the last video I did was probably March or April. Um, but a lot went on this year and unfortunately I was not able to do YouTube. But for today's video, I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. I love watching these videos. Um, I'm kind of nosy, so I like to see what other people got and what they had on their wish lists and just show you guys what I received. Um, now we do have, um, a party at work. I, I work in a small law firm. The four of us get together and we exchange gifts and, and we give ki uh, our kids Christmas presents too. And then I went over to my mom's house on Christmas Eve and we got um, some gifts there. And then my husband and I exchanged gifts Christmas morning. And then we went over to his mom's house and she also gave us some gifts. I don't have hers up here because they're down in my kitchen and some of them are at work. But I will also share with you what those are. Got to this blanket from my sister um it's just this big corded like sweater like blanket it's so comfy it's huge um it's got cat hair all over it because my cats love it but I was super super thankful for this um because I like to sit and binge on Netflix and Hulu with a blanket on my lap so this was beautiful I got this bracelet from my coworker. Um, it's just this gorgeous silver bingo bracelet and it's got like, if you can see, it's got like a braided material here and then two silver um, sides to the bracelet there. So I love that. So most, some of this is from work. Um, my one boss, his wife picks out um, a bunch of gifts and she'll put it in like this big bag, which was in this bag. Um, and it had a scarf from Old Navy. And it's a huge, huge blanket scarf. I love this. Let's see. Um, my coworker also got me these two signs. One says, hold hearts gently. And the other one says, hold hands firmly. Now, I, I decorate primitive and like farmhousey, so these were perfect gifts from her. Um, I can't wait to him. She also gave me um, a charm. And it's for my necklace or a bracelet if I want to stick it on a bracelet, but it's a lovely little cross. I just don't know where I put that. I got a bunch of cards, and in the cards was some gift certificates. We got one for um, Texas Roadhouse, Outback Steakhouse, and Buffalo Wild Wings. We went to Outback last night. And that was kind of a spur of the moment thing because we really are excited for the Buffalo Wild Wings that we're going to tonight or this afternoon um that was a gift from the buffalo wild wings was a gift from my husband's mom Ugh. we got this at home goods it's this gorgeous centerpiece for our table for next christmas also in that big bag was a big tote bag which is in my favorite color burgundy i love it and in there i have Uh, my coworker got me this candle from Pier One, and it smells like frosted cranberries. Oh, I am in love with this candle. I cannot wait to burn this, and it's gorgeous. Also, this is from one of my bosses. I got um, a Glade candle in apple cinnamon. I got a bath bomb. Uh, it's in the scent pumpkin cheesecake. It smells really good. And I have French lavender and honey body cream. I got a Burt's Bees blueberry and dark chocolate lip balm and an emery board. Oh, and I found the um, charm from my coworker. just a simple cross I 
think that's really pretty. And that is it in this bag. The rest of this stuff is from my husband. Um, I shopped for myself but I brought it home and he put it all in a bag for me and gave it to me under the tree so I already knew what all of this stuff was but it's stuff that I've been talking about for a long time and he knew that I wanted it but he is not one to go into Ulta and just be like here's a list of stuff my wife wants um he's just not really comfortable with that so everything that I have here is stuff that I went and purchased um so we'll get into that. Before I get into that, I made an order on KL Polish for some of her nail polishes. Um, these are the two colors that I have up here. This is uh, Taurus. And Point Zero. I do have um, some on right now. It is this shade right here. I don't remember what the shade is called and I have it downstairs. So I'll put that in the description box if you are interested in what the shade of these nails is. Um, my accent fingers are the same shade but with um, a pretty glitter on top that I got from Jula. I wanted a happy planner so I got one from Michaels. I just really want to keep everything in check and work on myself this year so I thought that a planner would help me do that so I got a planner and I got a whole bunch of stickers and other accessories for the happy planner so I got um, a planning is my hobby sticker kit just hustle which is like workout stuff um, and it's time for you to celebrate with stickers and then I got page flags and this was actually attached to the planner. And then just a bunch of other stickers. It's very overwhelming to get started because, you know, I see spreads in other people's books and I'm like, oh, I want mine to look like that. But it's expensive hobby. It's hard to get into, so. Also for my husband, um, I told him I wanted to do my get my hair done. Um, I have wavy curly hair. Um, it's natural curl, it's very dry and frizzy, um, and I've been doing a lot of research, so I want to go with the curly hair method. I don't wanna use sulfates or silicones in my hair anymore because those are really bad for curly girl hair. So I am going on a new journey for my hair. I'm going to wear it naturally curly. Um, now normally when my hair is curly and I'm on like third day hair probably I'm just tired of it and it looks a mess and it's frizzy and my curls aren't defined so I end up putting it up in a bun and I hate the way I look with a bun so I don't want to do that anymore um, these products that I bought uh, I've done a lot of research watched a lot of videos read a lot of reviews and I'm super excited to start it um, it is the diva curl system so in this package is the No Poo Original No Lather Shampoo, One Condition Original Conditioner, and there's also a mini Diva Towel. But I also bought the full-size towel, the Diva Towel. Um, if you didn't know, um, or if you don't have curly hair, using a regular towel is bad for your curls. Um, it just makes your hair more frizzy. So I have been, since doing my research, I've been trying to use a t-shirt for when I shower for my hair, um, but I'm super excited to have the, the towel for the Diva Kit. I also purchased the Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler and also the Ultra Defining Gel. Now, I'm also going next Saturday, um, the 6th, to go get my first Diva Cut. So what you do is you go on to divacurl.com and look for a stylist, and then they have three different ranks of um, of how much they're trained with the Diva Curl system. And actually, it goes from one, two, and three is the most. Um, I did find a level three Diva Curl specialist in my area. Um, 
well she's about 40 minutes away but I don't mind so I'm gonna go next Saturday and I'm gonna go get a diva cut a diva cut is when they dry cut your hair so that you're cutting each curl and you see how the curl pattern is so um, it's really ideal for curly hair and then they'll style your hair and put all the products in and show you how to use them So I'm super excited to get that done next Saturday. That is also part of my Christmas gift now from Ulta I Purchased and it's a gift from my husband again um, this whole box I Got the Lorac Pro 4 um, I was so excited to get this. I wanted the three really bad um, when it came out, but I just, I wasn't able to purchase it. So now I have the Lorac Mega Pro 4. And in case you have not seen it, this is what it looks like. And because I'm a palette junkie, that is not the only palette that I have in here. I also... Um, if you don't know who Soph Does Nails is, check her out. Um, she's a YouTuber and she had a collaboration with Makeup Revolution and it's a gorgeous palette. So I wanted to get my hands on that. This is what the outside packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, oops, you get a sheet with all the names of the eyeshadows and then these are the eyeshadows in the palette. They are so pretty. And the last palette that I got is also the Makeup Revolution collaboration with Soap Does Nails. And it is a highlighter palette. This is what it looks like. And inside are eight highlighters. And it is just so pretty. So that is the last palette as I almost drop it. That's the last palette that I received for Christmas. But I also picked up, um, I wanted this for when I do my um, cleaning of my brushes. I got just a tiny little brush cleaner. I also picked up one of the L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise. I hear everyone talk about this. So I wanted to try it. I have tried the Better Than Sex uh, mascara and I like it. I also got a Catrice Shine Appeal Fluid Lipstick in the shade To Be Continued. So this is what it looks like. It looks way more pale than I thought it was going to be. Um, way more nude. Oh, and it's way pinkier than I thought too. So I'll just do a quick swatch. Okay. That is like a gloss. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but... This is the shade. We'll have to see. Um, I've seen someone talk about these and I w that's why I was so excited to try it. And I don't like how the cap goes on. Like it's twisted as far as it will twist and it's loose. And then it just starts opening. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to try that out. Uh, the next thing I got was a Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Pencil Liner. And the last thing was the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I have heard, um, oh, who talks about this? Rob Beauty Christie. I have heard her talk about this um, eyeliner forever, so I wanted to try it out. And now we are down to the final few items. When we were out shopping at Home Goods, we stopped at Target as well. And I picked up the Profusion Mixed Metal Eyes. It comes with a liquid eyeliner pen, um, two metallic liquid eyeshadows, and a metallic eye pigment. And these are normally $10, but it was on clearance for $4.98. And then also something that Robert, Rob Beauty Christie raves about is BH Cosmetics. Um, and so I saw... Their sign said 50% off, so I thought this was going to be $5 because it's normally $10, but it actually rang up for $3, and that is the Nude Blush um, Palette, and inside, if I lose the paper, are all of these beautiful blushes. That is everything that I received for Christmas this year. Um, I'm so thankful to everyone who got me a gift. Um, 
I love everything that I received and oh from um, my mother-in-law I forgot my mother-in-law she got me two deviled egg trays because I always bring deviled eggs to all our family get-togethers she also got me um, like a pencil holder with the Buffalo Bills on it because I am a diehard Bills fan and also oh, uh, a computer screen cleaner so it's this little like stuffed animal that cleans your computer screen um, so that was really really thoughtful but that is everything that I received for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, watch in the next week for a video about why I've been gone for so long and what has been happening with me. And it will explain, I hope, why I haven't been here. And I'm just thankful to all of you that have stayed subscribed to my channel, um, even though I've not posted any info. Um, but a lot of you also do follow me on Instagram and I do get comments and likes there. So I am super thankful to all of you for sticking around. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I will have some um, videos up here shortly and I will be getting back into filming for you. Uh, so Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great day.